question six, we're told that Mansi left her home at nine o'clock to walk to the shops. She uh, stopped at the newspaper shop, which is that bit there, and then carried on to the fish and chip shop. And this is her distance time graph. For part A, it says, how many minutes did Mansi take to walk from the newspaper shop to the fish and chip shop? So it took her that long. So it's two of these blocks. If this is 9, that's 9.30. Each of these must represent 5 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So if it took her two of those blocks, because that's how long it's taken her to get from the newspaper shop to the fish and chip shop, two of those blocks must mean that it's uh, 5 times 2, which is 10 minutes. In part B it says work out the average speed in kilometres per hour for Mansi's journey from her home to the newspaper shop. So newspaper shop is here, home is here. This is distance, remember. So she's gone one kilometre in 5, 10, <coughs> 15 minutes. So we need kilometres per hour. So what we're saying is 15 mins equals 1 K, therefore in one hour, which is 60 minutes, she would do four times as much, because 60 divided by 15 is uh, four times by the one for the kilometer, so that gives us an average speed of four kilometers per hour. <coughs> it tells us then that Manzi stopped for 10 minutes in the fish and chip shop. She walked home at a constant speed of three kilometers per hour, and it wants us to show this information on the graph. So she stops for 10 minutes, so that's two blocks. So that's her stopping. Then she walks home at a constant speed of 3 kilometres per hour. <laughs> so this distance is 1.5 kilometres. So if she can do 3 kilometres in an hour, that means she can do 1.5 kilometres in half an hour. Each of these blocks is 5 minutes, so half an hour would be 60 divided, the 30 divided by 5, half an hour is 30 minutes, divided by each of these blocks, which is 5 minutes, which is 6. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at that point there, that's where she ends up at a constant pace. And that completes the distance time graph, and that gives us a time of... 10, 10.